previously we have solved quadratic equations using the guide number method. Here we're going to use another way using the formula on screen. So to solve the quadratic equation x squared plus 9x plus 8 equal to 0 we can find values for x using the formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Our first job when using this formula is to identify what a, b and c are so that we can substitute for those letters within the formula. So the general quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to naught. So a is the number in front of the x squared or the x squared coefficient, b is the number in front of x or the x coefficient and c is the constant. So we can see here within our quadratic equation we have just x squared which means it's 1x squared. So that means a is equal to 1. b is the x coefficient so b corresponds to 9 in this particular equation so b is equal to 9. And finally c the constant corresponds to 8 so c is equal to 8. So at this point we know what a, b and c are. So we can substitute for a, b and c in our formula. So we have minus b, b is equal to 9, so we put in minus 9, plus or minus square root of b to b squared, which is 9 to b squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8. And that's all over 2a, a is equal to 1, so it's 2 times 1. Moving on, we have minus 9, plus or minus. Next we figure out what's inside the square root. So we know 9 to be squared is 81. Minus 4 by 1 is minus 4, by 8 is minus 32. It's all over 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. Next, we'll just figure what's inside the square root. So we have minus 9, plus or minus, 81 minus 32 gives us 49. It's all over 2. So again, sticking with the square root, the square root of 49 is equal to 7. So we have minus 9 plus or minus 7 all over 2. Once you've figured out the square root, next you break up the sum we have into two parts. The reason for this is the plus or minus sign here in the middle. So the first part will go minus 9 plus 7 all over 2 and the second part will be minus 9 minus 7 all over 2. So because of the plus or minus sign here we had to break it up into two parts. So we'll figure out the left hand side first we have minus 9 plus 7 which gives us minus 2 minus 2 divided by 2 is equal to minus 1. Here on the right hand side we have minus 9 minus 7 which is minus 16 minus 16 divided by 2 is equal to minus 8. So at this point we figured out our two values for x minus 1 and minus 8. So we've solved our quadratic equation. So at this point we figured out our two answers x equal to minus 1 or x equal to minus 8. If you wanted to check your answer you just substitute for x with minus 1 and then minus 8. So we'll do that now. So if we sub in minus 1 it's minus 1 to be squared plus 9 times minus 1 plus 8 equal to 0. Minus 1 to be squared is plus 1. 9 by minus 1 is minus 9. So what we'll have is 1 minus 9 plus 8 equal to 0. 1 minus 9 is minus 8. Minus 8 plus 8 is equal to 0. So the equation balances so we know minus 1 is correct. Next we'll check to see if minus 8 is correct. 
So again, we just sub minus 8 instead of x in our equation. So we have minus 8 to be squared plus 9 times minus 8 plus 8. And all that should be equal to 0. So minus 8 to be squared is plus 64. 9 by minus 8 is minus 72 plus our 8. So we can see 64 minus 72 is equal to minus 8. Minus 8 plus 8 is equal to 0. So we know that x is equal to minus 8 also. So that's a simple way of checking your answer. It's not necessary, but it's just a good way to make sure that your answers are correct.